Happy Monday, everybody. Um, can everybody here today give us a thumbs up if you can hear? I don't want to be talking for five minutes and have you frustrated. Does it look good? Everything good? All right. Good. Well, for those who don't know me, my name is Dave Hall. For over 30 years, I've been working within the mini trampoline rebound industry. I basically reignited the industry back in the late 80s, early 90s, when it was pretty much dead. It wasn't really doing much at all. When I entered the industry, I introduced a tapered spring design because based on the research that I looked at, we wanted acceleration deceleration effects because that was what NASA's research was based upon. The G-forces created through acceleration deceleration. Typical rebounders at the time used little tube springs and they could only stretch a little bit. At the end of the stretch, they would come to an abrupt stop or jar. That jarring effect could actually be very damaging, especially if you alter your body in a different position. And as my dad and, and several other people have done in years past, because of those, the lack of support you get in those type of springs. Bungee cords are different. Bungee cords are rubber bands. They are. I mean, they're glorified rubber bands, but they're a little more sluggish and they don't have the same kind of resistance to cause the muscle mass and the bone density to really change or the valves to open and shut. Now, if you have any of those units and you like them, I'm not here to talk you out of them. I'm just here to say, be careful and notice that if you are having any knee problems, especially from pronation, where it leverages the weight on the inside of the knee, if those knees are hurting, or if you're having hip problems or back problems, you might want to consider getting a unit that has a little better support. The seller sizer uses a tridactable spring design. It's a patented spring that has a larger diameter in the middle and then it has a ridge where it tapers just before it tapers and then another ridge where it tapers again. It's a self-adjusting spring. It doesn't matter whether you're 350 pounds or 20 pounds. You'll utilize that portion of the spring you need based upon how much you weigh or how, how high you're jumping. It's the larger diameter is going to stretch first because it's weaker. But as it reaches its end of its stretch, then it graduates to the next ridge and next tier and so forth. So it allows us to do many different techniques. Now, many of you have heard me talk about when I was involved with solar size, my objective was to help people reach their greater health potential because I know what it had done for me. When I was doing my business plan many years ago, they said, David, who's your target audience? And I said, people. And they laughed and they said, no, 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 you don't understand. You need to narrow your audience. And I looked back at them, I said, no, you don't understand you need to broaden yours. If we understood the dynamics and the benefits of the pumping action on the cellular sizer to increase circulation, to open up lymphatic circulation, to challenge balance and equilibrium processes, as well as the myriad of different techniques that I've designed over the years that target knee problems, hip problems, back problems, digestion elimination problems, shoulder problems, weight loss issues, it, and it goes on and on, then we'd understand, okay, there's something to this. If you're a physical therapist, if you're a chiropractor, if you're a doctor, or you know those who are, I want to encourage you to share the DVD or some of our videotapes with them. There's a dynamic involved with cellular size you cannot get through traditional approaches, um, even in physical therapy. Physical therapy is great. It helps a great many people. One of the advantages of cellular size though when you're doing physical therapy is you can do different stretching movements and the movement up and down on the cellular size or very gently massages the tissue. It helps increase flexibility. It helps to increase circulation. And it has been, it's, it's done absolute wonders in my life and the lives of those we've worked with in helping them to get much better and faster results. So if you have a medical condition, consult with your doctor, health practitioner, feel free to have them give me a call. I'm more than happy to, to work with them as well. And if you are a doctor and health practitioner and you'd like to know a little bit more, please give me a call. I'd love to share with you some of the different approaches and we've got a great many that we have as well as um, answer any questions that I might be able to answer to help you um, be more informed as to the benefits of what cellular size can do. It is weight bearing, not weight lifting. So with typical exercise, you apply weight to a certain muscle and over time that muscle grows stronger. 
but you have to do it with all the muscle parts. With cellar size, you're flexing your muscles or your cells over 100 times per minute simply by moving up and down on the cellar size or without a jarring effect. Hitting a hard surface shatters the nervous system and creates stress or tension, which creates blockages. Cellar size creates a pumping action through acceleration and deceleration without a jar that opens up circulation, but also provides the benefits of the G-forces or weight-bearing activity. All right, I hope some of that makes sense. I'd like to read some customer reviews today. For those of you who are more in the intermediate section to senior section, get your cellar sizers ready. We're going to do the Senior Aerobic 1, which is in our Mr. Rebounder app. And for those who don't know what that's about, please feel free to, to uh, visit MrRebounder.com, M-R-R-E-B-O-U-N-D-E-R.com, and it will explain more about what this is. But we have over 30 pre-made routines, and then we have additional routines that we can create. The Senior Aerobic One that we're going to be doing is another one that, that I created, and we made it available to everyone. So if you have your Mr. Rebounder app, go ahead and turn to the, the Mr. Rebounder um, senior section one. If you don't, you can go ahead and join me um, at the end of, of our uh, customer reviews and our questions, and uh, we, we can do, you can do it with me on, uh, on the subtle session. It's not as intense as last week. Last week was great, um, but uh, this week we want to go just a little gentler for those who are just starting off. And, and if it's too intense for you today, just go easier. That's okay as well. Okay, this one is from my tube. <laughs> it says, love, 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 my cellar sizer, it's silent. I used plain old petroleum jelly with Q-tips because I didn't want any oily mess or drippy mess in my living room where it lives. I had to do it twice but haven't touched it with oil in months and months. I've had it for a year now and finally took my training wheels, the bar, off. Now it's easier to store upright when I have company. Yes, it folds down, but it's easier to just set it up against the wall unless I'm traveling, in which case I fold it up and take it with me. And that's what I used to do. I, we love the balance bar. We all use it here. But, and you can kick that off very easily. When you throw the unit up against the wall, you can fold down some of the legs so it actually can fit behind a door and it'd be more out of the way if you're, if you're uh, tight on space. If you're on the fence at all about getting one, grab one for yourself. It's 1,000% better than my Urban Rebounder, the best one on the market years ago when I first got my tramp. Now, there's a story behind that. I won't go into it, but this one is far in a way better and oh, so worth it. Where's the allergy busting workout? Okay, I, I wonder if I've read this one. Because we did that one last week. We did the allergy busting workout last week. It's posted, so you're welcome to do that too. Um, this one here said, I did lots of research to figure out which mini trampoline rebounder was the best for me and came up with the cellar sizer. What a great piece of equipment! Exclamation points. I had a very cheap mini trampoline rebounder that was very poorly made. Springs kept breaking, seams were poorly sewn, and it was very, very noisy. I thought it was okay until I tried the cellar sizer. I tried to do things on a budget, but decided it was worth it to spend the money on the cellar sizer. I've not been disappointed. The cellar sizer has a better feel and bounce to it, and it's more stable. It is very quiet, and overall I feel better after I use it. I thank you for sharing that, because our competition is trying to say just the opposite. And when, when these customer reviews come from you, it makes a difference for others to be able to hear it. And, of course, you'll hear me on the cellar size, and you'll see how quiet it is as well. And for those who have a squeaky rebounder on our website, we show you how to quiet that right down under our care and maintenance section. I think that the spring design must be the reason for the great results. I feel better physically, and my outlook is more positive. I think I will contact the company itself because I'm so impressed with the cellar sizer. You just did. <laughs> I think that the investment of a few hundred dollars now could save me thousands of dollars in the future. I agree with that. And this, this second one from Chelsea says, I am pretty active. I walk, jog at least three to four times a week, and I play on a ladies' soccer league on Monday nights. I thought jumping on the cellar sizer would be a piece of cake and really bought it to get my lymph moving a little better. Well, let me tell you, 
three minutes into the 10 minute workout and I was thinking to myself, has it been 10 minutes yet? <laughs> I feel like I get a great workout jumping on this little tramp. <laughs> it's been a great purchase and I've worked my way up to 20 minute workouts. I sweat more on this than if I had been out jogging for 30 minutes. I would highly recommend the purchase of a cellar size and tell you to use it every day. I was skeptical at first, but I did my due diligence researching all of the rebounders on the market and finally decided to spend the money on the cellar sizer. So far, so good, and I'm glad I made the purchase. It does squeak when jumping, but not enough to bother me. My kids love it too. I am sold and will continue to use this every day. I'm keeping a visual record of my transformation so I can see if and how my body changes with it. Thank you, Chelsea. We look forward to hearing back from you too on that. And we have an answer for any squeaking as far as the cellar sizer is concerned. Um, okay, one more. It says, hi Dave, oh my goodness. I've been using your cellar sizer for only two weeks now. As of tomorrow, it will be two weeks. When I started using the cellar sizer, I felt a little sore around the ribs and I could tell I was using muscles in my back and rib cage. I did not know that I did not know I had. The benefits of using the cellar sizer for around 20 minutes to 30 minutes a day, almost every day, have already made a difference in my life. First of all, I dropped some inches and can fit into a size smaller pair of pants. And yesterday I was walking through the malls and I noticed that the usual ache in my lower back was gone. I've been living with lower back pain for the last past few years. I don't have to be walking very long before the pain is felt and just standing and looking at items on a shelf really affects my lower back. At times my knees would hurt even and the past two days I have felt no pain at all. I feel stronger and more centered, if you will, and my balance seems fantastic. And that's one of the byproducts of cellar sizes. It will challenge your balance mechanism in ways that I don't know of anything else that will. The movement up and down constantly challenges our vestibular balance as well as the different movements challenge our proprioceptors. So balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, those are all physiological functions and cellar size has been known to be very effective in helping to promote that. This may seem a little crazy, but I, since I started rebounding, my left ear felt kind of weird inside the eustachian tubes. And I only noticed when I stepped off the cellar sizer and I was wondering what it could be. So today I went to the doctors and he found I have an infected ear. How long have I had it? I could not say as I never felt any pain nor knew it was there. But after rebounding for 20 minutes or more, I could feel this pressure. So I'm now on an antibiotic eardrop med and the infection should clear up in seven days or less. Had it not been for the rebounder, I might never have known I had any infection in my ear for the for they have felt just fine until I stepped off the rebounder or on the rebounder and off. I want to share with that for a moment because cellar size has been extremely helpful to a great many of us when it comes to exposing weaknesses. As we're moving up in the cellar sizer, it's not jarring. It's not like you're doing it on a hard surface. But the gentle moving up and down moves fluid up and down. If there's blockages or conditions within the body, we can often feel them before they become serious. Or if they're weaknesses, we can adjust our, our movements and routine so we can work through those weaknesses and get stronger. The objective here is to feel younger, healthier, be able to perform better and have a better quality of life. I am grateful to have caught it for again, no symptoms, no pain was felt. So I'm already noticing great results from using your cellar sizer. I love to bounce and so do my clients and my own grown children. One of my clients is expecting her rebounder next week and she saw mine and loved jumping on it so much she went home and ordered one for her family and for herself. I am so happy and thank you for sharing it with other people. They will may be grateful to you for the rest of their lives. Thank you so much for your DVD and you're creating this awesome cellar sizer. Thank you also for taking the time to write me when I had a question or two and for calling me. I told my friends, family and clients about the great customer service you give. They were impressed. So I just wanted to let you know how your cellar sizer is changing my life, my muscles, my whole self. Sincerely, Brenda. Oh, she, P.S. My little cockatiel likes to sit on my shoulder when I do the baby bounce. His cage is just next to where I have the cellar sizer. And when he sees me on it, he chirps until I collect him. And he loves it too. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, some questions. And I want to thank Christine. Christine is with us. She's on Facebook and she's able to post some questions and to add some comments as well. 
Um, she is communicating with Brooklyn, who is behind the camera now. I'm going to bring her out in a, in a few moments so we can do a little demonstration with her. Um, something that has really, 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 really been extremely helpful to people that have back problems and issues. Um, again, I have to say consult with your doctor or health practitioner, but I'm going to show you a technique that I've shared with doctors and health practitioners that has made a huge difference many times um, and has given people almost immediate, re immediate relief um, very often. Okay, question number one. If I take my cellar sizer to Mexico for six months next winter, will the springs rust? Everything corrodes there as I live in a sea salt environment. He says, apparently stainless has to have a sufficient chromium oxide layer on stainless steel so that it doesn't rust. Do the springs have enough? Thanks. Okay, number one, this isn't stainless steel. Stainless steel is brittle. The, the formula that we use to make the steel in our springs is what gives that spring the ability to have movement, enough strength and resistance to create lift again. Um, unfortunately, we can't do that with, with uh, stainless steel. But as far as being down where it's salty, yeah, if it's there long enough, it'll rust. Um, I've had one outside our house for 14, 15 years. There's no rust on it at all. Uh, the paint is oxidized. The springs look almost brand new, really. The anneal fi finish looks great. Um, but we don't have any salt water here, so we're high desert. If you have salt, it's best occasionally to hose it off. Just hose it off, get that salt off of it, and, and it, it'll hold up much better. We do, we have a beautiful annealed finish on, on our springs that is very thick and, and it's very helpful so it's more rust resistant. But I wouldn't say it's rust proof if you're in a salty environment. Is it possible to target the inner organs, the uterus, ovaries, to heal endometriosis. Well, I can tell you that the movement here, just this movement right here, this works all these internal organs. And the gentle movement up and down and side to side can help reduce inflammation, can help increase circulation, and can pr help promote the healing process. It can also help strengthen the connective tissue because this is weight bearing not from the outside in, but from the inside out. So connective tissues and fascia can actually help grow stronger, it will grow stronger to compensate for the increase of weight that's on it. Hi Dave, I'm having lower back pain and sciatica problems come and go. I've heard you talk about lying on your mat. Could you please demonstrate as I cannot find any clips for this movement? Thanks, Debbie from Australia. Yes, let's do a little demonstration. And Brooklyn, we want to point the camera down here so they can see you and your feet, or my feet, and come on over here. And thank you, sweetheart. And go ahead and sit down right here. We haven't done this yet. And I want you to put your feet up here. And you're going to lie back right in between the bars and put your head right on, on that sweater. Perfect. Now move your arms out to the side a little bit. Yeah, you can relax them right here and just relax. Okay. So what we're doing here is, I hope everybody can see this. I heard a ding. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Okay, as I gently move up and down, I've taken all the vertical pressure off of her disc. So she's laying down horizontally. We're taking the thread off the nerves so that the muscles, this is a deep massage. You can't get this from a surface massage. The deep muscles and tissue can start to relax. As they, we increase circulation and as those muscles start to relax, we take more pressure off of the nerves. So this movement here is a massage that's working all the internal organs. How's it feel? Good. It feels good. <laughs> it really, I've had in live sessions working with um, an audience, I've had three women and one gentleman fall asleep on me. So as I was explaining and talking to them, you know, it's the same principle as babies. It's so relaxing. Um, we've got some great stories behind some of the people we've worked with with this movement. But after we've done this for several minutes, then we start to rock side to side. And as I rock side to side, her hips gently roll. As they gently roll, we start to loosen up the muscles around the vertebral joints even more. And as we loosen up those muscles, we can help the discs. We can take pressure off the discs. We can help reposition the discs. 
This is expedited if you work with a chiropractor because the chiropractor can help you significantly and then these muscles that we are working can help balance with the new alignment. So the muscles that are tighter can loosen up and the muscles that are looser can tighten up so that we can expedite that whole healing process. And again, it's a massage from the inside out. But we've had countless numbers of people that have had back problems where I've done this with them and they've stood up and it's like, wow, that feels so good. It's, uh, and you can do it for, people say, how long should we do it? Well, pretty much as long as you can keep the other person on the solarizer. I tell people, put, put on your television show, watch a show, and just gently move up and down and rock back and forth. You're both getting a benefit. Thanks, Franklin. Now when you get off, you want to pull your knees toward you. Pull them toward you. Roll to the side here. Perfect. And then help push yourself up. There. You got it. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you for the question. That's a uh, Thank you. Thank you for the question. That's a te great technique. And I came up with that over 20 years ago. All right. Is it working? Oh, here. I'll put it in. One second. It's nice about being an informal and having a great solar sized patient family. <laughs> and I thank you. Okay. Is there any such thing as being on the rebounder too long? I usually just do a fairly gentle bounce, but with maybe a few jumping jacks thrown in if I have the energy. But I bounce for one, but I bounce for one straight hour. Is that too long? Not at all. You can walk for an hour and get a lot more stress and tension in the body from hitting a hard surface than you are if you're cellular sizing. I've been known to go almost two and a half days straight, hours at 12 hour days. Um, of cellular sizing. I don't recommend that. Uh, you lose, I lose <laughs> way too much weight. But um, that's when I used to do the shows. But you mentioned something else, jumping jacks. I want to comment on that. I have never broken one of my springs in, in my entire life. And I know people that have broken springs. If you stay more centered in the mat, I don't think you'll ever break a spring. If you do a lot of high jumping, you come down, you land too close to the spring, you could fracture a spring. But most springs are fractured from people doing jumping jacks. And just know you can enjoy it, you can love it. I'm not trying to talk you out of it, but if you do it and you land on or too close to the spring and it fractures the spring, it's going to break a spring. So I'm going to show you an alternate way of doing a jumping jack that, uh, that will help avoid any any breakage of springs. But, but this, instead of doing this, what I do, and I just turn away from the bar, um, I kick behind me and I throw my arms up and down just like this. And it's the same result as if you were doing it this way. But you're not going to be compromising the springs in the process. So hopefully that'll help. And if you need to replace the spring, they're not very expensive. And we, uh, we have replacements, replacement parts for anything you need on the solar sizer. Okay. I have a question regarding the balance bar smartphone holder. Can it be twisted for landscape mode or does it only work in portrait mode? Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Thanks, Dave and Christine. Well, you can always turn it landscape, but it's, um, you just, you don't, in fact, it is right now. Um, can you look behind you in that drawer to the right? The one to the right? Yep, that one. There's a, is there a phone holder? Perfect. No, nope, not that. Plastic phone holder. Okay, look in this drawer here. All right, thank you. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay, so if this is on the balance bar, Thanks. Thank you. All right. And you've got it like this. And you have your phone in here. All you have to do is do this. And you've got your phone in landscape mode. So it's, if that, I hope that answers the question. All right. We're done with the questions. 
Um, let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of a routine. And it's only going to be 15 minutes. So it's a little different than the one that I um, originally designed. But it's going to be, it, it should be a good one. And we will have... Um, I'm going to make some changes to, to it uh, probably tomorrow so that we're going to have a section within this routine that has about two minutes of just the health or baby bounce so you can substitute the health baby bounce with some of the arm exercises for building up muscle too. But today we'll just do the aerobic, aerobic portion of it. So it's called Senior Aerobic Number One and for those for those who don't know what the app is, and you, you may have seen it, you may not, this is, mm, this is what it looks like. We have a beginning. Can they see this okay, Bricky? Okay, we have a beginning, intermediate, advanced, senior, or create your own. And under create your own, if you want to add movements, you will see all these different movements here. You can pick the movement and put the amount of time you want to do the movement. And if you want to know what the movement is, we've got beginning and advanced movements. It'll show you what the movement does. And you can, it'll give it an explanation of what that, that movement can do as well. So we're going to go back. There we go. To home, which is... Cancel right there. Okay, so we're going to go to the seniors, and we're going to go to this one here, and this is our routine. So what we'll do first, give you a little over, um, overview for those who don't have the app. We're going to do just a minute of the health baby bounce, which is what warms up the tissue, increases the circulation, opens up blood vessels, helps change blood chemistry so that instead of having sticky blood cells, we're, the blood cells become separated, oxygenated, and energized so that it's easier on the heart and other body parts and functions. So it's, it's important we do that in gentle warm-up. Then we're going to do the hip rock, which is for 30 seconds. We'll do the twist, and that's for the digestion elimination processes as, as well as loosening up the back. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Then we're going to do a sprint moderate for two minutes. So for those who are not, you know, feeling comfortable do that, just walk in place for two minutes. And, and that, that will be good. Your hips are dropping into the mat. We're loosening up the lower lumbar, but we're also getting the exercise. Then we're going to do the Jamba Walk. We'll do that for 30 seconds. That's going to be to work the front part of the knee, as well as strengthen the thighs. And it's, it's an aerobic exercise too. But our objective there, we want to build up the supporting muscles, the ligaments around the knees, so that we can be supported for some of the more advanced movements. Um, then we're going to do a sprint moderate again. We're going to do that again for two minutes. So again, this is aerobic activity. And then we're going to do the jumbo walk again for th just 30 seconds. And that jumbo walk, you should be feeling it by then. And that's going to help, again, increase circulation, capillary growth. We're building up heat. We're increasing metabolic processes now. Um, we'll do the whippy ski patrol. Uh, we'll jump side to side on the whippy ski patrol because that's going to work the hips, inner outer thigh, the lateral knee. Very few exercises do that. But, and, and for anybody who's involved with any kind of athletic activity, whether it's soccer or, or basketball or tennis, that lateral activity and strengthening those supporting muscles and ligaments are very, very important. Very few exercises will do this. And we've helped, I've worked a lot with physical therapists, with people that have torn up their knees to restructure and strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around that joint. And you can't tell me it's not possible to do because I'm living proof of it as, as well. Okay, so then we'll do the gentle twist for 30 seconds. We'll do the sprint moderate again for two minutes. And then we'll do the jumbo walk again for 30 seconds. Remember, this is aerobic. We'll do the sprint moderate again for two minutes. The jumbo walk for 30 seconds. The whippy ski patrol again. And then we'll end up with the, the baby health bounce. And we'll, we'll do that for... 30 seconds to a minute. Um, so we're ready to begin. All right. And remember, if you can't do the run, the, the running moderate, just go ahead and do the walk. And if, if it's too easy for you and you want to do more intense, do the run for two minutes. 
Um, I'm going to go a little easier for those who are, want to follow along. Um, and then if you want to, and if you're able to, on the run, the moderate run, if you hold on to the balance bar and you're able to tilt back just slightly, you're going to leverage the weight right there in the abdominals. And that's going to, every time we're coming down, we're going to be working those muscles there as well. So, uh, already I thought something. Huh. Okay. Let's get started. So health baby bounce, 30 seconds. And if I can put this where we can all see it. Okay, and on this movement, we want to just gently, just relax. Move your neck around, your shoulders a little bit. Just, just have some fun. Lifting the heels up and down will work the calf muscle. And that calf muscle will help increase circulation from the lower extremities back up toward the heart, which is important to you. like a full minute on this one but every tissue is a massage at the cellular level okay now the whippy ski patrol and what this is doing or it's not whippy ski but this is a hip rock what we're doing with the hip rock is we're working the muscles in the hips we're working the thighs and the knees if you swing those arms a little bit you're working the shoulders as well But it's, it's really gentle, but it's very effective. And remember, you're not just working against gravity. We're working with G-forces, acceleration and deceleration. And those, that's weight also. Okay, this one's loosening lower back, digestion, elimination processes. a great massage for the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, colon, intestines. Okay, now this is the moderate. So you can do it slower if you want to. And you can hold on to that bar and tilt backwards if you want to really leverage the weight in the abdominals. We're going to do, just do this for a couple minutes. I know my kids, when they watch, or when they are doing this, they usually watch a television show at the same time. Another key is to tighten the stomach muscles. When you tighten the stomach muscles and work, you have more isometric with an isotonic too. Lift your knees up high if you're comfortable doing it. Okay, Jamba walk, pushing down into the mat. You want to keep your back straight, your feet flat, 
so it keeps the weight on the thighs. If you lean forward, too easy. Takes the weight off the thigh. A little different than the jumbo run. Okay, two minutes. And we're gonna be jogging. I want to thank all of you who are using the app and you know some people love it it's great I love it I think it's great some people they'd rather have a live person but the response I've had from most of you <laughs> I know because if it's not working I hear about it <laughs> that you love it and I want to thank you for your your comments and support we have a lot more we're working on to do with it and you're doing the advanced one still, right? Yeah, that's good. All right. Jamba walk. Pushing down into the mat. And if you want to do the jamba run, you're welcome to do that too. Okay, hip rock. This one is really helpful for the thighs, the hips, but also the back and the shoulders. It reminds me of a dog when they get up on their back and they roll around on the ground. They're really moving the vertebral joints too. All right. If you want to work the upper back, just take your hands, move them a little bit higher. Okay, two minutes of just moderate running. And if you want to take some video of you and your family or people that are cellar sizing, please do it and, and send us it. We'd love to be able to, if it's all right with you, put it up so other people can identify and can appreciate what other people in the Stellar Size family are doing. We'd really love it. And so would the family.
And again, it's allergy season. So if allergies are bothering you, go through a routine like this and see how you feel. And remember, if you're just starting off, drink lots of water. You don't have a pounding impact, but you do have lots of movement up and down. And there's enough resistance on the solar sizer that it can break up blockages and heavy metals, toxins, poisons, preservatives, chemicals, formaldehydes, pesticides, herbicides, drugs, things we've been exposed over the years. So drinking lots of water helps the body to flesh that out as you shake it up, break it up. And you can regulate the intensity even of this one simply by sitting down a little further. All right, we're going to keep running two minutes. We have the professional trifold cellar sizer and the home based half fold cellar sizer. If you travel with this cellar sizer, go ahead and take a picture of yourself on vacation, at the office, or wherever it is you might want to take it. We actually had Dr. James Balch. He wrote the book, Prescription for Nutritional Healing. He took it to China, the trifold. He took it up the stairs to the Great Wall of China. He opened it up on the Great Wall of China, assembled it, and bounced up and down, and sent us a picture of the cellar sizer on the Great Wall of China. I'll find that picture and have uh, ask Christine or Brooklyn to, uh, to post that. So what we're gonna do, and the reason I'm saying this is over the next few months, we're gonna collect pictures of where the solar sizer has been and how you've used it. And We'll have a jury create um, or actually vote. And now we'll, we'll do it differently. Ah, we'll either have a, we'll, now nah, we'll, we'll have the jury vote for the best picture. And we're going to give you a free trifold cellar sizer so that you can share it or keep it with someone you love and care about. So that will be. See, we're in May right now. Hip Rock. Um, August. So we'll do that. We'll give some time. We got the rest of May, June, July, and the beginning of August. We'll, uh, we haven't announced that yet. You're the first to hear about it. So you can get a jump on it if you're interested. <laughs> All right, health bounce or baby bounce, and that will wrap it up. So if you want to do more movements, feel free. You can do more of the arm curls. You can work on the neck if you'd like a little bit, massaging. There's so much you can do on this. But if you have any questions, <laughs> we're there 9 to 5 Mountain Standard Time. We have been inundated with phone calls, so I apologize if we haven't been able to get back to you, but please don't stop trying, because we are on the phones all day long, and um, I know it's been uh, 
For some of you, it's been a little frustrating get, getting through to us. But don't give up because yeah, we either get back to you eventually, and we try hard to do that, as many of you know, um, or uh, just just keep keep trying. But thank you again. Um, I wish you all the greatest in health, and that when you're on that solar sizer, visualize yourself reaching your goal and objectives, and be happy with yourself right now. We need to enjoy the journey. We need to be grateful for where we are and grateful for where we're headed. And that helps lift up the performance of our body on a subconscious, subconscious level as well as a conscious level. And remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in. Thank you. We'll see you next week.